All right. The stack right here is 360 packs worth of hollows. This is all we pulled for holographics, of course. We bought a case of Return to Duel Special Editions. And yeah, we pulled some pretty amazing pulls. We got a ton of secrets. Way, way more than uh, what you usually get in a uh, just a standard box. That's why I always suggest, guys, always pick up Special Edition cases if you're going to pick up a case. Don't pick up boxes because... In the end, it's not really worth it, and that's just what I believe. And I know you get a better ratio if you just pull out of a special edition, since there is no ratio. All right. First off, uh, we got six Noble Knight Gwains, which is pretty good. Put that to the side there. We have four Blue Dragon Ninja. We have six... Temperance of Prophecy, which, might I add, uh, Galacticod, out of an entire case of just a regular booster box, only pulled one. Oh. We got five. We, we got five Blue Dragon Armor Ninjas. Not Armor Ninja, Blue Dragon Ninja. For some reason, I keep on thinking that next set they're going to say, by the way, guess what? Armor Assault Mode. Just like what they did with Stardust and Red Dragon. Uh, let me see here. Four ultra rare spell was it? spellbook magician of prophecy. Four of them ultra, and two of them ultimate rare. So that's pretty good. Actually, that's pretty amazing. That card is in demand right now, I should say. Four silver sentinels and two silver sentinels ultimate rare, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, five Illusionary Snatchers. I'm kind of glad that we only got five because this card's complete crap. I'm pretty sure it's complete crap. It's okay. You mean it's complete crap. <laughs> All right. Four Prophecy Destroyers, one Ultimate, three Ultra. Surprisingly, we only pulled uh, two Madolchi uh, Magdalene, something like that. But we only pulled two of them, so I was hoping to get a playset, but it does not look like it. Six, Pudding Princess. I will always call it Pudding Princess, so don't hate. Four, Gigira Armor. Uh, I was hoping just to get a playset. We actually pulled four, so that's amazing in my book. Two High Priestess of Prophecy, which I know my friend here really wanted. He wanted to pull at least two, right? Yeah. Hoping for a third. Two. Three Grand Soils, which I'm very pleased with because I'm getting the Grand Soil stuff. Well, not Grand Soil. I'm getting the Gagira stuff. That comes with the Grand Soil. What deck runs Grand Soil other than Gagiras? Don't lie. All right, that's it for monsters. Let's go on to spells. What is this? Six, Spellbook of Lives. Five, Gagaga -ga -ga Revenge. Uh, two Ultimate Spellbook of Secrets, one Ultra Spellbook of Secrets. I actually figured we were beginning more Spellbook of Secrets, but it does not look like it. Sure, we pulled more of those. Yeah. Uh, oh. One advanced zone and then three advanced darks. Four miracle contacts. So we might actually be able to run a rainbow neos build since we got a playset, but uh, highly unlikely. No, it doesn't because... work with rainbow neos. Yeah, it does. Why won't it? Because Rainbow Neos isn't an elemental hero. It doesn't say elemental hero. Yes, so it they, does. It says anything that uh, goes with Neos. It does not say elemental hero. Uh, four rebound. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, I am wrong. <laughs> you, you, you gotta win there. You gotta win there. Alright. Five boy trap holes. Stand corrected. I'm mad, bro. 
uh, five ultra rare heroic champion Excalibur. Uh, I, I don't think that the person who's getting these wants five of them, but uh, he will He's receive. Be even more pleased when he finds out the next four. <laughs> four ultimate rare heroic champion Excalibur. And one ghost rare heroic champion Excalibur. Uh, five Hero Phantom Prophecy, one Ultimate Rare, four Ultra. Uh, five Soul of the Silver Mountain. Uh, five Chronomaly Crystal Chrononaut, something like that. Just weird card. That